Okay, welcome. Welcome to a video today. And I just wanted to offer a reflection about whether does life get easier as you go along a spiritual journey? Does your practice mean that life becomes simpler and become easier? So, enjoy. So I was just reflecting on this today, um, reflecting on, I was in my 20s, I was really struggling, self-harming, you know, on the, the verge of suicide, and I was living in a Buddhist monastery, and I was talking with one of the other monks, and he was a senior monk, he was, he'd been a monk about 20 years at the time, and I just asked him, I says, you know, does it get easier? I asked him, and he turned to me, and he had reflected, and he thought about it, and he says, well, actually, no, it doesn't get easier the further along the spiritual path you get. What happens is you have more tools. It's like you have more space. So the challenges are still there. It's just you don't get hooked into them. They don't consume your life. And so in my own life, I have found that in my 20s, when I had my struggles, I would be in them for two, three weeks, a month maybe, and I'd really be stuck in them. It was like, I remember this analogy, being stood at the top of the stairs. And I would literally tumble down to the bottom. And it would take me two or three weeks to get back up to the top of the stairs. And as I've developed in my spiritual practice, done my meditation, you know, practiced compassion, kindness, loving kindness, I found that what happened is I might tumble down one or two steps, but I kind of can get back in maybe a few hours or, you know, a few minutes I can get back up. It's very rare that I will go down many steps. It's like I've developed this inner strength so it doesn't mean that here at the top of the stairs I don't have my challenges. Sometimes life can feel really difficult. It's like it can feel really challenges. I, it's challenging. I still feel the same pain that I felt as a 20-year-old, as a teenager. But what's happened is that I no longer see it as a bad thing. It's like I've opened my heart to feel this stuff and I realized and I was listening to someone speak the other day saying that you know when we feel bliss or when we feel the dark stuff it's the same it's like that open-heartedness sometimes I can be feeling really joyful and I'll be streaming tears and it, it will be the same reaction when I'm feeling a lot of pain so yeah you know does it get easier the answer is, to me, it feels easier. Okay, so the, my answer would be, yes, it does get easier. It gets so much easier. Do the challenges still arise? And the answer is yes, the challenges still arise, but you have this greater capacity, this greater awareness just to receive it and to love it for what it is. So that's my invitation to you today. Just open, you know, become aware of what you're feeling. And when you do that, it's like you can then embrace and feel. You know? Offering many reflections, many blessings, and yeah. Oops, I lost my microphone for a second there. So yeah, offering you many blessings. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, well, have a wonderful week and I will see you next week. Okay, take care. Bye for now.